Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ethan Mitchell and today we're going to take HDR video from the iPhone 12, edit in Final Cut, then export in Dolby Vision for upload to YouTube. Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, I do drone reviews and tutorials. So if that's something you're interested in, consider hitting the subscribe button along with the bell and you'll be notified when I post new content. Today we'll go over how to transfer a Dolby Vision HDR video from your iPhone 12 to your Mac. Then we'll go over how to set up an HDR project in Final Cut. And finally, we'll go over how to export in Dolby Vision for upload to YouTube. Now, if you're new to HDR, I recommend checking out this video, and there I go into more detail about what HDR is and why it's important. HDR also comes in a few different formats, and Dolby Vision is considered the best, so it's really nice that Apple and Dolby teamed up to put these features in the new iPhone 12 and in Final Cut. Now, before we get started, you're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need to update your Mac to iOS Big Sur. You'll also need the latest versions of Final Cut and Apple Compressor. All right, let's get started. First, let's get our Dolby Vision HDR video from our iPhone to our Mac. And for that, we'll be using AirDrop. With the video selected in your gallery, click the Share button, then click Options. Turn on All Photo Data, click Done, then pick the device you want to AirDrop to. If you don't do this, the file will be converted to an 8-bit standard definition video, which will not work for HDR. Okay, now let's go in the final cut. First, we need to set up an HDR library. Click File, New Library. Now with the library selected, go over to the inspector and click Modify. Now click Wide Gamut. Now when we create a new project, it will give us the HDR options in the color space. For a Dolby Vision format, we are going to use Rec 2020 HLG. Okay, now we can import the clip that we airdropped. Click Import, and by default, Mac puts airdrop photos and videos in the download folder. Click the video and click Import Selected Video. Now that we have the video imported, you can drop it into the timeline and edit the same way you would with any project. If this is all you need to do and do a quick edit, you can skip ahead to the Export section. Now let's move on to color grading. If we bring up the scopes and take a look at the Luma waveform, it looks very similar to standard definition. It goes from 0 to 100 nits, and that's the advantage of using HLG. It color grades very similar to standard definition, which makes it super easy to work with. So let's go through one. With the clip selected, I'm going to bring up the color wheels. I'm going to scrub through the clip and find the brightest spot. And it's probably right there, right there. This section right here is probably the brightest spot. So we're gonna go over to the wheels and we're gonna bring the highlights up to just under, just touching the 100 mark. And we're gonna pull the shadows down to the about zero. I also like to lift the midtones a little bit. And now that I know where my highlights are, I wanna be able to scrub through and see how this looks. See, and this is the advantage of using HLG. It looks really good already. There's a, you can actually go way into depth into color grading this. You actually have way more flexibility with color with the HDR than you do with standard definition. But for the purpose of this video, we're gonna stop here. And that actually looks pretty good. Um, before we go to export, we'll have to do one more final adjustment. And we're gonna go grab a adjustment layer. And we're gonna put it across the entire clip. Now for this adjustment layer, we're gonna highlight that. We're gonna go back to our color wheels. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a tint adjustment. For, some, for whatever reason, whenever you upload an HDR video to YouTube, it has a slight shift to green. So to compensate for that, we're gonna shift things to the red. And so when they upload to YouTube, they'll be displayed correctly. We're gonna to go to tint on the color wheels and we're gonna change that to eight. And you can see what this does. It's very, it's very subtle but it's noticeable when you upload to YouTube. All right, so now we're ready to export. And for that, we'll need Compressor. Let's open Compressor and change some settings. In Compressor, go to Settings, Apple Devices, and the one we're looking for is for Apple Devices 4K HEVC 10-bit HLG Dolby Vision. Right click and click Duplicate. 
Compressor will make a copy and drop it under the custom folder and there we can make changes. First under general, I'm going to rename this to 4K Dolby Vision M4V. This will make it easier to find when we add it to Vinyl Cut. Now using this profile restricts you to a 16 by 9 aspect ratio and it also only exports in M4V which, which is compatible with Apple devices and works just fine. And now we need to add those to the destination in Final Cut. So if we go back to Final Cut, we'll go up to where it says Final Cut, we'll go to Preferences, click on Destinations, double click Compressor Settings, we'll open the We'll open the custom folder and then we'll select the Adobe Vision.M4V profile. Click OK. Now let's go back and export and click Dolby Vision. Now you can rename the file and you can see the file size and the file format will be .M4V, which is recognized by YouTube for HDR. Set the location you want to save it to and that's it. Upload to YouTube as normal and YouTube will take care of the rest. After YouTube is done processing your video, you will see the HDR icon next to the resolution. So there it is guys, iPhone 12 Dolby Vision, edited in Final Cut and uploaded to YouTube in Dolby Vision HDR. HDR video is something I've been dabbling with for the past year and I'm really pleased that with the release of the iPhone 12, Apple and Dolby have really made creating HDR content easier than ever and it really does make your footage look amazing. If you have any questions or anything you'd like to add, please comment below. As always, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.